this is Lick by Happenstance. I'm Kendra and it is time for chapter 44 of Yarn Tales. Yarn Tales is my ongoing series here where I read books, I tell you a bit about them, and then I apply silly Kendra rules to my star rating for the book and add to my reading shawl. Now right now we are in the midst of a number of audiobooks that I listened to at the end of April when I was doing a craft show. So I listened to them on my drive there and my drive back and while I was setting up. And there was just, there were a lot of books in a short period of time and most of them were fairly all right. Today's book in question is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. It is a YA book about a girl named Jessie who is a junior in high school. Her mom died a little bit ago and since then her dad has met a new woman and they have moved from Chicago to California where Jessie's gonna go to like a fancy school and it discusses her integration to like this new family structure with her stepmom who has a son and how their whole family kind of works out and mostly it talks about how she integrates into her new school and it does this through her messaging back and forth with somebody called Somebody Nobody or SN as they say in the messages. And so it goes back and forth and there's a bit of like a mystery component like who is SN because SN becomes increasingly more important and grows closer to Jesse through their interactions back and forth. And overall, I found that mystery to be kind of, meh. it was very obvious to me, overall. The book in general is three stars. It was fine, there's nothing wrong with this book. It was just a very strong meh for me, which is a very solid three stars. In part, it might be, this book was very YA for the YA books that I've read recently. Like, there are some YA books that I feel as a woman in her mid-30s I can read and like they almost read as reminiscences of an adult looking back on their teenage years and those are easier to relate to or to um, like feel like I am the audience for them. And some YA books are very clearly written for an actual youth audience which I think is great. I am not that audience and those books are usually very meh for me. Had I read those books when I was of the age that the intended audience was, maybe I would respond to them better. In the case of this book, I still think it'd be like a solid meh. The cover of this book is beautiful. It has little waffle hearts on the front and that was part of the reason why I picked it to be honest. There's like handwriting on the back and then the waffly pictures, um, three of them, which I was like, hmm, what's up with the waffles? So that was a, uh, a cover read, basically, and I enjoyed it. It was about nine hours of audiobook, but I listened to it sped up, so obviously didn't take that long. Um, but still, I, I have no regrets listening to it, but I don't like feel the need to go back to it. I find with a lot of three stars, they don't really stick with me. While this book um, doesn't stick with me negatively in any way, there's nothing about it that, like, you know, my brain was chewing on after the fact. Like, once it was over, it was over. But it is not over when it comes to my shawl. So let's take a look at that, because I know a bunch of you are here for this. Um, this is the fourth shawl in my yarn tails uh, for this year. This is the yellow shawl. I am using some yarn. Vidalana, I think it is, from Knit Crate that I was gifted by Carla. This is in the colorway Bananas, and it seems kind of appropriate actually. The Tell Me Three Things is the one, two, third, third book on this um, shawl. So that's just kind of funny to me. So the way that this works is I'm using three different yarns for the shawl. So far, everything I've read is an audiobook, so they're all out of this yarn. There's also a yarn for physical books that I experience by myself, and then a yarn for books that I experience with my kids. So what I do is I do a patterned row, which coordinates with the yarn um, and the type of book. So there is the audiobook row, and then a row of textured single crochet for each star that the book receives. So like the previous book was a four star, so you can see it has a wider stripe. Then this current one, which is a three star, which is still a decent amount of striping, um, but it kind of mixes up the shawl a little. So I am excited to see where this goes. So far, it's very bright. This yarn has been very pleasant to work with. Um, I just need to uh, keep going and we'll see how the shawl turns out. If you've missed any chapters of Yarn Tales, you can go ahead and catch up on that with the playlist here on the channel. And there'll be many, many more chapters to come because I've read a lot since April and that's where we're at right now. All right, I hope you all are having a great whenever you see this, and I will see you all next time. Bye.